Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn how we can restrict the users from creating SharePoint sites. We will also learn how to restrict users from creating sub sites and how to restrict the site owners from associating their sites with the hub site. So first, let's understand how you can restrict the users from creating a SharePoint site from SharePoint online page. This will be applicable to both team site and the communication site. I have a user logged into SharePoint online on this browser, Bob Ross. And as of now, he can see this option create site. So that means if he clicks this option create site, he can create a team site or a communication site. But as a SharePoint administrator or a global administrator, you can control the site creation. So to restrict the users from creating SharePoint sites, you will go to SharePoint Admin Center and you will go to settings. And here you will click site creation. Now by default, this option will be checked that says users can create SharePoint sites. So that means the users can log into SharePoint online and they can create a new SharePoint site. But if you want to restrict the users from creating a SharePoint site, uncheck this option and click save now if i go back here where bob ross is logged in and refresh the page so now this option is gone we do not see an option to create a sharepoint site now remember one thing from the setting that we changed here if you change the setting you can control the site creation in sharepoint online when you disable this setting the users will not be able to create a SharePoint site, but the users can still create a Microsoft 365 group and they can still create teams in Microsoft Teams. This setting will not restrict the users from creating the groups or the teams. This will only restrict them from creating a SharePoint site and this will restrict them from creating sites using PowerShell commands and from creating a site using REST API. Also, this setting will not restrict the administrators from creating these sites. A SharePoint administrator or a global administrator can still create sites from SharePoint Admin Center. This particular setting is applicable only for the users. Now let's see how we can manage the sub-sites creation in SharePoint Online. By default, we cannot create a sub site in SharePoint because this setting is disabled in SharePoint online. For example, if we go to settings and here at the bottom, if we click classic settings page. And look for sub site creation by default, this particular setting will be set to disable sub site creation for all sites now if i go back to bob ross and if i open any sharepoint site and if i go to site contents sub sites i do not see an option to create a sub site let's go back to sharepoint admin center and let's enable this Let's set this option to enable subset creation for all sites and let's click OK. So the setting is saved. Let's go back. Let's refresh the page and let's click new. So now we can see the option to create subsite. And now all the users of my tenant can create sub sites in SharePoint online. But you should not enable sub site creation in your SharePoint environment. We have already discussed the reason that why you should avoid creating sub sites and rather you should use hub sites because hub sites are used to group the sites and the site content using modern SharePoint architecture design. Now let's understand how we can restrict the site owners from associating their sites with the hub sites. Let's go back to Bob Ross and let's open this site. 
So Bob Ross is the owner of this site. And if you go to settings, site information, under hub site association, Bob Ross can connect this site or can associate this site with this hub site. Let's click save. And you can see this site is associated with the hub site. This is the hub site that has name hub. This communication site is the hub site. And this particular site, ABC Team Site 3, is now associated with the hub site. So by default, in my tenant, the site owners can easily associate their sites with the hub site. But as a SharePoint administrator, you might want to restrict the site owners from associating their sites to the hub site. So first, let me de-associate this site. So I'll click None and I'll click Save. So now the hub navigation is removed. So this particular site is de-associated from the hub site. So to achieve this, to restrict the site owners from associating their sites with the hub site, we will go to SharePoint Admin Center. Here, we will look for the hub site. This is our hub site with name communication site. We will click this site. We will go to properties and under hub, click edit hub site settings. Now here you will see an option, people who can associate sites with this hub. By default, this setting will be empty. That means all the site owners can associate their SharePoint sites with this particular hub site. But if you want to allow only specific owners to associate their sites with the hub site, you can add those users here. For example, let me add myself. And let's remove Bob Ross and click Save. And let's go to the other browser where Bob Ross is logged in. Let's refresh the site and go to settings, site information. So now you see hub site association, this particular option is grayed out. So now the site owners within my SharePoint environment will not be able to associate their sites with the hub site. Only one user that we added under hub site settings, concepts user, only that user can associate these sites with the hub site. Now again, these settings are applicable only for the site owners and the site admins. These settings are not applicable to the SharePoint administrator or the global administrator. A SharePoint administrator or a global administrator can still go to SharePoint admin center and they can associate these sites with the hub sites.